Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today we're going to learn about multi step inequalities. We're going to solve each inequality and graph its solution. So if I was given this inequality, 5 times parentheses 6 plus 3r, parentheses plus 7, is greater than or equal to 127. Okay? Well, my first step, I'm going to subtract a 7 on both sides. Subtract a 7 on both sides. Leaves me with 5 times parentheses 6 plus 3r is less than or equal to 127 minus 7 being 120. Now I have the 5 multiplied out the front, so I'm going to divide by 5, opposite multiplication is division, and we have 6 plus 3r on the left is greater than or equal to 120 divided by 5. I believe that's 24, but uh -oh. let's see. 120 divided by 5, 24 is correct. That's why I have, you know, a college degree. Um, <laughs> so I need to subtract by 6 now to both sides, right, uh, to get 3r by itself. So if 3r is greater than or equal to uh, 25 minus 6 being uh, 19. Uh, 25 is 24. And I wrote 25, sorry about that. I wonder who caught it. If you caught it before I did it, put it in the comment section. So we have 24 minus 6 is 18, right? So I don't know how I put 25. I wasn't thinking. It's 24. 18, now divide by 3 to both sides, leaving me r by itself here, is greater than or equal to 18 divided by 3, which is 6, which is great. So now we have r isolated, it's by itself, so I need to graph it, make a little number line right here. Uh, let's go by 2's, so we have 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and negative 2 right there. So we have said r is greater than or equal to a positive 6, so we have a closed circle at 6 because it can e equal that. And I'm going to shade to the right because we have r is greater than uh, 6. So now this graph matches my final answer, which is r is greater than or equal to 6. So let's recap. We have 5 times parentheses 6 plus 3r, close parentheses plus 7 is greater than or equal to 127. I subtracted a 7 on both sides, giving me a 120 on the right. And then a 5 times parentheses 6 plus 3r on the left. I then divided by 5 to both sides, giving me 6 plus 3r on the left, and 120 divided by 5 is 24. I subtracted a 6 to both sides, or sorry, 24, not 25, but 24, okay? Subtracted a 6 to both sides, giving me an 18 on the right and a 3R on the left, and still have the greater than or equal to sign in the middle. I divided by both sides by 3, giving me R by itself, and 18 divided by 3 is 6, and so we have R is greater than or equal to a positive 6. I need to graph that. Close circle at 6, because it can equal 6, and we uh, put our arrow to the right because we said R can be greater than 6. So this graph now matches my overall final answer, which is r is greater than or equal to a positive 6.